Good morning everybody from Salem, Massachusetts. We are at Fort Pickering. Today we have the pleasure of having my son Alex. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take you around and show you um, all of the historical remnants of what's left around here. The lighthouse. You can see back here. There's a sign. This is some of the remnants of the actual Fort Pickering. Yeah. All right. Here we go. This is a marquee as you're walking or driving in. 17th century English colonists discovered the Aquidneck, the island. It's a perfect place for fishing and shipbuilding. Yeah, this used to be a big port here in Salem. It's not anymore, but anyway, as you can see, it was this is the hangar that we're parked in front of right now. Salem uh, first built a defense here, it looks like in 1643, fearing attacks from the Dutch. All right, and then from that point on, uh, they added artillery in 1673. It became different names. It was Fort William, Fort Anne, many different names. It was utilized during the Civil Spanish-American Wars, and yeah, so it was a Civil War camp for Andrew Light Guard. And Fort Pickering uh, Light was established in 1871. But yeah, they have an old photograph here. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of um, pirate history and all of that kind of stuff here. It's really, really interesting to me. All right, so it says the first air and sea rescue station on the eastern seaboard built in 1944 during World War II. That's what this island that we're camping on, Winter Island, it was um, at one time. Um, it was closed in 1970. Okay, and the highest hill on Winter Island was once known as Execution Hill and was the scene of four public executions of convicted criminals. Anyhow, pretty cool stuff. A lot of history here. All right. So we're going to take a walk to the lighthouse and see what we see. This is right off the campground. This is Fort Pickering. Hmm. Okay. There you go. There are bunkers here. What kind of little military history here? We've got some fighting ducks. No, fighting seagulls, it sounds like, maybe. Oh, no. No, they're ducks. Yep. Cool. Cool, cool. This is one of the remnants of Fort Pickering. Alright. Um. Hi, guys. All right, over here on the right is one of the bunkers. I'm guessing they used to let you go back in there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What? The sign? Yeah. There's no way I would go in there. I would go in there. But Ooh, God, not me, man. I mean, I might go on up to the gate. I don't know what Yeah, this is one of the old bake uh, bunkers. Wow. Okay. Okay, you can see it ahead of me. It's another one of the bunkers. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, lots of bunny rabbits out here. Look at that. I bet there's some babies in there too. Mm -hmm. Usually there are. All right. But yeah, look at this wall. Hey, this one doesn't have snakes. There's no sign. I bet it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no? Oh, there's a dead bunny there. Aww. Poor dead bunny. Okay, so this is the top of the bunker right here. 
probably some sort of protection wall of some sort reinforced wall here and this overlooks of course this area the bay and Salem okay here's the lighthouse and then there's another entrance I guess to a bunker there okay so this is um, at top here at Fort Pickering here at the campground area and this was the point of view that they had from this angle or from this perch up here on this uh, part of the island so they had a nice panoramic view to see incoming ships and so forth it was a pretty good defensive point for them pretty cool so there's like a little footpath that you can take around here that's what we're doing this morning and again we're at the Fort Pickering site Okay, so right off the path here, you can see more of the stonework for the fort. So there's like little remnants of the fort all around this island. Definitely yeah, definitely. I'd say it's raccoon. Yeah. Fingers? Yeah. Yeah, we saw a bunch of raccoons, so. Anyway, but yeah, it's kind of an interesting area. A lot of beauty. Okay, so you can see the wall, the stone wall around <clears throat> this area. So I'm sure there was a purpose behind that. But it's pretty, it's a pretty area. You can see all around us. The fortress that was built here. Look at all this. All right. And unfortunately, as you can see, people decide to draw all over stuff. I don't understand it. I'm not sure what this is, but this is like one part of. Yeah. The base. It's cool. Yeah. So we're not real sure what this was for. But anyway. A fire pit in the middle. Some picnic tables here. Maybe we can find some information on what it is we're looking at here. This may have been part of the base at some point in time. Maybe in the later years. Don't know. Anyway, we are going to be back at the campground. So, we're thinking maybe at one time these had doors. I'm not sure what they are. There's really no information telling you what they are. It's obviously part of the military base that was here. That concludes our tour of Fort Pickering. We thought it was kind of cool. Wanted to share it with you guys. So anyhow, we'll see you guys later. Bye.